Hello, good afternoon all. So I'm Sanskriti Gupta this side, uh, working as Angular developer in MB. So today we are going to discuss about uh, form.io. So uh, firstly, we need to uh, start with uh, our form.io introduction. Here uh, we are going to what is form.io, how it began and how it works, include uh, libraries in form.io, form.io builder and render as well. After that, we are going to cover demo and QA session. So firstly, we are uh, going to what is form.io. So form.io is an open source, uh, open source for developer who want to create form and data management platform. Form, uh, form.io provide us to create a dynamic form builder and the form render future. So form.io provide a drag and drop form builder allowing us to build complex form for enterprise application quickly and easily. These form are then embedded directly into our application with a single line of uh, code that dynamically render the form and uh, then hook that form up to the REST API provided by the form.io platform. The form.io platform also offer um, numerous third party services that we are uh, fully uh, integrate into the form.io building process, allowing us to integrate, extend the power and capability of our application. So, and also form.io saving our time and efforts. So, we also can, uh, as all know, that uh, form.io is the platform that has a number of third party interfaces that you can uh, contain things like Google Sheet, email, provide Office 365, Dropbox. There are a number of integrations that we have, as well as our own services, we have a Docker deployment where you can uh, deploy this in our uh, own environment and hook it up to your own uh, database so that we can control all of your information. So now move on to next segment, how it began. So form.io platform was created in 2015 before this developers use several uh, render application, these application leveraged monolithic technologies stacks such as .NET, LAMP, Ruby, and Java. This also changed however, based application could now be rendered in the palm of your hand. So this we have uh, BAP technology quickly resolved to able to browser technology, to be cap capable to executing JavaScript in a very uh, performed way. This led it about the next generation of the BAV, the uh, progressive BAV. While this next generation of the BAV has been uh, positive for a number of reasons, it did browser create a gap in the paper development industry were building data and driven from base application become a significant changes form.io was created to fill this gap by creating a platform that bridges to uh, the client based application with backend services through a common uh, concept of tissues found a very data driven and drives application babe. So just let me add a uh, people. As we see um, now uh, how it works. Now move on to next segment uh, how it works. So uh, developer use form.io uh, to build the form and resources of their application. As you can see on image and that uh, it is a form builder 
that we can easily use in our application or uh, using some tags. So we are going to demo that things. So as we can see, the form are rendered dynamically within application using JSON powered form. Also, the schema of uh, form automatically generated and deploy an uh, API in our in environment. So uh, now this question is that what is a uh, JSON powered form and how it works? So uh, we can say JSON powered form provided open source form builder and that form builder is actually used to generate a schema. All really uh, is Cosby, but uh, JSON uh, builder. So why drag and drop in component on the uh, forms? It basically build uh, is basically build a JSON object, and it does that on the front end and entirely. So uh, they never communicate on a backend server while you create a form like if you are uh, building a form form.io platform also or uh, what we are doing is contrasting a JSON object. Uh, you just uh, don't know what do you doing. So uh, in form.io, JSON uh, use a JSON powered form so that uh, JSON schema are uh, using uh, basically implemented both the form and uh, corresponding API on the backend and uh, that what form.io come into play and our API platform know how not only render the form on the front end with a form schema, but we can also take uh, a scan capability of generating a API to support all that data in our uh, application. So for example, we want to create a, a form uh, using form.io. So for example, uh, here we are uh, creating a form uh, in that form, we are uh, dragging first name and email and last name. So if we want that uh, email has uh, a validation uh, that it's required and uh, have unique value as well. So all of validation credit guys, what if you were building an API to support that form, you would be uh, repeating yourself uh, for backend side as well. So on the backend building, all of that are some uh, validations, all of uh, modification, everything on the backend. So that all works. What we have done is we said, yes, we are adjust powered uh, form builder, but also uh, were adjust power API builder, as well as we do both. Uh, those of the same things. Real. We are using uh, the form dot schema, like JSON schema in our uh, front end side as well as our back end side. So uh, that uh, how we communicate with uh, form dot io uh, builder and render as well with the help of a schema. With the help of uh, form dot io builder, we just drag and drop uh, here as you can see in the image. So with the help of form.io builder, we just need to drag and that field and drop is create a schema in a form.io builder. And uh, uh, it uh, schema also we can use where we want to render that form. It's, we can use that form. So uh, now um, form.io have some customers. Form.io has customer all of all over the world are ragging from really uh, stages duplicative startup to SMBS to large enterprise like Amazon in uh, every major business vertical. So here is some uh, form.io customer as we can see 
like uh, as Accenture, Accenture, Amazon, and uh, any uh, many more. So now move on to next segment. Introduce your library. So basically, what is uh, form render? Uh, with the help of form render library, uh, we can render the form in our Angular application using this library. Form builder, uh, with the help of uh, uh, form builder, we can uh, use form builder uh, in our application for building uh, that form. Uh, also, uh, form dot r provides us a form manager system that uh, how we can manage our form. Like what provides us authentication, allow us to easy way to provide form dot io authentication into your application. We can also use uh, for that uh, from the open source as well. So data table. Uh, a way to render data within a table format, which include uh, pagination and sorting. Uh, here, we, uh, in data table, we usually do it. Uh, we can manage our forms. If there is so many forms, then we can easily manage with a data table. And we can uh, here create a uh, form.io provides a screwed uh, support as well, like create, update, delete, these kind of things. So, to form .io builder, we firstly need to install npm um, that uh, in form .io in Angular, Angular dash form .io, and uh, we also, if we are using form .io in our application, we also need to import form js form js for uh, using that form dot io builder and render and other things as well in our angular application so uh, now we are going to hear form dot io form builder form builder with the help of form builder uh, uh, form builder component we can able to generate form builder and uh, our application and with the help of filter drag and drop component feature we can easily create a json schema uh, as we all uh, discuss about json schema with the help of uh, form.io builder we can easily create our uh, json schema and we just need to add uh, one line of code in uh, using our uh, application so as we can see it just the one line of code that we need to include in our application and then we can easily use form builder so in form builder here we are creating with the help of uh, form builder with the help of form builder here we are creating as we can say json um, object like um, here is component that we are using in our uh, form using the form builder so here it uh, you can understand proper way like we are creating a schema json schema that we are going to use in render as well so that's how we created json schema using form builder so now move on to next segment uh, form render a uh, form.io platform provide us to render up dynamic uh, in our uh, dynamic form in our application and then hook that form up to the REST API provided by the form.io uh, API platform. We can render the form using the schema, JSON schema that we are creating using the form builder. As we previously see that we are creating a JSON schema using the, with the help of uh, form.builder. So uh, we can easily render our form uh, with the one line of code here it is just uh, one line of code that we need to use for the render that uh, form. So now demo. Uh, so here is uh, my demo uh, that uh, I have already created. So as we, uh, as I said, that we need to import, install our uh, form.io Angular. NPM uh, I that Angular 
dash form dot io and need to also install form js so i have already installed here in my uh, packages also um, if you we can also use some js libraries so uh, we just need to import our uh, form module in uh, our uh, module and uh, just import and here we can also uh, configure uh, our form dot io so that we can uh, use many more uh, features of form dot io like add it create delete so we need to also configure here these are not required if we are using authentication things of form dot io then we need to uh, here include this but uh, in that uh, demo we are not going to use these things because we are just using form dot io builder and render so that is not that much important and we just need to create here our json of uh, form dot io object as we can also see we are creating our json schema so just we need to here creating a schema and we need to just declare here and after that we add json of uh, form dot io builder and on change we are going to uh, change on form render that we are going to discuss and here we are using form render or uh, basically this function is uh, we are using for uh, form good uh, form dot uh, form builder uh, changes representing uh, our uh, form render so with this example you can clearly understand so as you can see my screen for creating a form using form dot io builder we just need to drag a test text area that uh, what we not need to give the name so as uh, we are creating first name and save so here we can create easily form and uh, now if you add two more fields then you can add so and we can um, also uh, give them validations and other uh, many features provided in um, our form.io builder here we can integrate our apis logics and many more things so now move on to next segment of uh, form render as we can also see i have rendered my form in a, a form.io in the same way so uh, we can see here is a, a schema that i have created using a form.io uh, builder so we just drag and drop and just created that schema as we can see here is a schema and that's how we can render our form it is a, our rendered form that we are rendering using that json schema so we can use anywhere that a uh, rendered form that we need to don't need to use uh, uh, it, it is uh, basically increase our usability so now move on to next segment it uh, so advantages of uh, form.io create a complex form application time saving as we can also see there is not that much code that we need to write so time saving method of form builder easily modify existing form in the future so you don't need to rebuild a form again and again assign complex individual groups roles and uh, permissions so here is we can use easily integrate into existing application and backend and also uh, from dot io increase our usability and if there is uh, any changes that we need to do current project then we need to don't need to build uh, our form in that uh, whole thing so we just change easily using the form dot io 